A week or so ago, YouTube uh, warned all of its creators that it was actually going to do a subscriber purge. Uh, what YouTube was going to do was going to verify whether or not an account was legitimate or not, or was just a spam account, and if it was flagged as a spam account, it was going to get deleted and removed. As it says here, according to YouTube, on December the 13th to 14th, creators may see a notable decrease in subscriber counts. The Google-owned video service regularly works to verify the legitimacy of accounts and its purge of spammy and bogus users has led to steep declines in sub counts in the past. A lot of people get a little bit upset when this happens, um, <laughs> just purely because especially smaller channels, like for example, every, everybody got hit with it. For example, you've got me, I lost 1,032 subs. Uh, you've got Drama Alert, lost 5,821 subs, which is um, a drop in the fucking bucket when you consider the size of that channel. Same goes for PewDiePie. He lost 42,951 as well, which to me would be a astounding loss, but to PewDiePie, that's that's absolutely nothing. But the best one was probably T-Series, which uh, kind of verifies the sub-bot accusation that PewDiePie made in Bitch Lasagna. T-Series lost 216,000 subs that day. Now, a lot of people get kind of pissed off at the fact that they lose subs and stuff like that, but to me personally, I think it's a good thing because one of the indicators to show how dead a channel is is when you look at the sub count compared to the view count. You know, you've got channels out there that have got 800,000 to 1 million subs, and each video has something like 14k, 16k views. So when you look at that, you think, okay, it's a, it's a dead channel. It's a dead channel, so I'm not going to bother with it. Whereas, if you get all of your fake or spam accounts removed and then your view count starts to slowly like match what your actual subscriber count is, that's to me personally, that's a sign of a healthy channel. It's a sign that a channel isn't dead. So even though some people might actually find this upsetting, ultimately I think it's a good thing and it probably makes you look a lot better in the algorithm as well. Because um, as you can see, we have most channels that end up using sub bots and stuff to get themselves to like 1 million in stupidly high amounts and they get very, very low views. The algorithm is not kind to them and personally I think it's because in the YouTube algorithm itself, they can see the comparison between sub count and viewer count per video. And so YouTube's algorithm, even YouTube's own algorithm identifies a channel as dead and just doesn't give it any love, doesn't show it and recommend it, doesn't push it, doesn't let it go out there or anything, which is why... I know a lot of people are mad about it, but personally, I think it's actually a good thing. I really think it is. I don't understand why channels actively go out and do this, because it's kind of well known at this point with the amount of subbot services that there are out there, that just because a channel has a lot of subscribers, it doesn't mean that it's a good channel. I mean, for example, you've got people like Jinx, who was a you know heavyweight at one point. He had millions of subscribers. He was insanely popular, and right now... He's he's lucky if he can pull 30k views on a single video. Um, that that might have a lot to do with Idub's video on him, but you you totally get what I mean. So, I I respect YouTube doing this because I think as far as your analytics and your metrics go, it makes the figures that you're presented a lot more accurate. And also, if your sub count is a lot more relatable to your overall view count on on videos, the algorithm does show you more love. And you get put out there more. So if anything, this kind of protects your channel from being seen as a dead channel. I know a lot of people probably won't agree <laughs> with this or anything. But it's something that personally I support. It's, it's YouTube doing some work and actually tidying some stuff up. You know, whether or not all of these channels are... All of these, you know, subscribers were actually spam subscribers or were dead accounts, you know... You know, I, I totally wouldn't be surprised if a portion of them were actually active people. They just hadn't, you know, clicked on your video in a while or anything like that. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't be the tiniest bit surprised if YouTube messed up in that regard. But the fact that YouTube is actually trying to keep its house clean, like I personally think it's a good thing. Uh, I, I like the fact that YouTube are doing this, even though I lost some subs. I mean, the the, the subs that everybody's lost that we've showed so far, they'll recoup them like no problem. Even looking at T series here. I mean, T series have already well, well on their way. Probably have already recouped them by this point. PewDiePie himself as well. I mean, Jesus Christ, look at that man! In, f in five days, five, not even five days. What am I talking about? This is hours. In five hours, <laughs> PewDiePie already recouped all that. 
Um, even Drama Alert as well. Drama Alert lost five. Wow. Okay, then never, never mind then, Drama. Drama Alert might take a little bit longer to recoup those subs, but the, the point still stands, you know. It's something that's easily recoverable from. Like, even me, even me personally, like, I'm... A thousand subs, I can recover from that, no problem. And it also means that if I've got actual active subscribers who are watching my videos, then my metrics and analytics line up and the algorithm will ultimately end up showing me more love. So, I, I think this is a good thing. A lot of people are quite unhappy about it, but the fact that YouTube are actually making an effort to tidy things up is something I support. I, I really do think it's a good thing. And also, it did kind of, you know, somewhat a little bit prove that... Uh, T-Series probably is using sub-bots. <laughs>